with an other exercise in lab view so here I have designed an other tutorial and exercise in lab view which is all about uh, typing speed master program in lab view so let's just uh, talk about this program how it works so basically um, when we are just um, trying to type something um, there is a program named as typing master uh, which is a separate uh, software that in which you just type on and it helps that how much speed do you have gained uh, during uh, your typing so what i have made i have made a replicate of the program in here so that we can just do another exercise in it so i will run, just run the program and let's see how it works so every time if i run my program in here here it says i start the test so if i just press on this button uh, it will automatically rearrange uh, all the uh, words in here and then a countdown will start of one minute one minute means 60 seconds so it is a countdown so it says that i just have to start typing in, in uh, the text available to me so i will just write that like this way so whenever i will make a mistake let's just say the next one word is woman so if i press j the text uh, the background color just changes so it shows that uh, we uh, have uh, made a mistake in the text so we just go back and then press again so the text color goes back to white so how much time it will take so it will take almost a minute and the program will stop and we will see the results that how much text we have just um, put it you know, in the typing space uh, within the time period that is just designed uh, so let's just say the countdown is zero so our program is all just stop so it means that we have just typed 34 um, uh, characters within the time frame that we have just decided so how to make this program before moving on to our uh, programming and creating it from the beginning uh, i will just express uh, thought about uh, by this uh, youtube channel um, uh, it will be very helpful for me if you want to uh, contribute to this channel uh, it is very required that you do sh you should subscribe as well as like my video so that uh, it will emphasize and give me courage to make, uh, do more work uh, on these videos so yes thank you uh, now we will just move on to our new vi and try to build up the whole setup uh, from the beginning so let's just go to our block diagram uh, and here i will just start from the for loop so the very first thing is what we need we need the text basically uh, so for the text purpose what i did is i used this text file so within this text file we have all the words that is in the form of a column uh, so these are all the words in, uh, differently like means it has no word that is just uh, repeat it so every word is just different from the previous ones so what we will do is we will just fetch all of those words within our vi so to fetch all the words within the vi i will just go to file io system and read the limited spreadsheet function so in here i will just give a control uh, so that it will read all the path of our text file so let's just say uh, I will <coughs> give in uh, in the control I will just say I will give a control of uh, let's go, go back to our path that where have we placed um, typing master program and here I can just select the text file so now I will just go on to our um, block diagram and here I can get all those words so before getting all those words, uh, the data type that I should have uh, is a string data type. So I can just go on to and select string. So now it will just create the string uh, and uh, just create an indicator and let's just see if it reads or not. Since I have just created a uh, while uh, for loop that is uh, giving me an error, so I will just delete this for loop for now and run my program either it is giving me or not so yes this this is the column that i want of the words now i can separate them um, by or segregate them by the means uh, what i want so i'll just delete all the rows and 
create broken wire and now I'll just go on to the index array function and connect the output uh, with my index array function and here I can just give it a constant of zero which means that we have we only want just only one column from all the table so I'll just press a for loop in here like this way and then what I will do is uh, I basically want to uh, randomly want the words within that text so what I will do is I will use index array function again and here I will use a random number generator so as for the random number generator let's just say the my upper bound is 200 so it means that uh, it will automatically select the index from uh, of the array that we have just given it in, in here so let's just uh, disable the indexing so that we are getting the whole array here and it is automatically connected uh, fetching uh, one by one um, the required or let's just say automatically a random word from the text from the whole text so I can even place 200 times the loop should iterate so it means that it will just pick randomly 200 uh, number of words so the next thing is we also want to create the space between those numbers otherwise that will give me the whole text uh, within one go so what I will do is I will just go on to the string function and there I will find out the concatenate string and here I will just give him uh, give it the space function uh, like this way so that it will create a space before it creates uh, so now I can just give it an output uh, like this way and remove the tunnel mode to last value and then I can create an indicator so this indicator will give me the whole uh, uh, text in the form of um, uh, random words so if I just run my program right now it is just giving me uh, want which means that this is just giving me uh, the last value um, so I will just go back again to indexing so instead of indexing here I will just add one more thing that is again concatenate string I can just add put a comma uh, put a full stop at the end uh, let's just say a full stop that will also convert it to a string form so we just need it in the form of a string so now if I run my program this is giving me the program in the form of text that I want I can just increase its size let's just say its, in, uh, its size is 24 now it is more clearly visible to us as well as it is the text that we want so let's just say at the end we have a point so uh, what we can do with it uh, much more like this is just the text one thing is we just want to um, remove uh, the space that is coming at the beginning of our program so just I can go back to my program and then here what I can do is I can add one more function which is string subset so that it will remove the first space from the output string so create a constant 1 so it will just give me the offset of 1 and then it will just give me the output so now if I run my program so it is clearly now showing me the output which is the required text or I can just write in here text required and uh, also uh, I can just make a copy of it that we will just type in here this will be the text that we will type so type text in this window also we can change their background colors so let's just go on to view and then tooth palette and here I can just select their colors so let's just say this one is just white and this one is our required form so I will just make it uh, blue light blue 
so that we just need to type this text so how we will gonna compare this out since this is the text that we want to compare with the function um, yeah this is a simple text basically so I'll just make a loop uh, let's just say a while loop here and within this while loop what I will do is I will use another function named as if we go to string palette there is a match regular expression and in the match regular, regular expression what I will do is I will take the required text uh, to our uh, terminal of the input string and then uh, then I will just change this indicator which is our typing space window uh, and change it to control and change to control and here I can just uh, connect the output with the regular expression and now what I will do is I can type my space in here as well as I will get the results I can also add <coughs> when this loop should stop so now I just have to make the countdown basically so I will make the countdown by by just creating a constant in here so let's just say this constant is 60 and the, the loop um, will subtract the iterations from this constant so here is the constant here is the iteration and that should go and stop the VI but also I will add another button let's just say go to silver and go to boolean and here we have a stop button as well so here is a stop stop button if we press this button that will stop the VI as well so we can remove its boolean text or the label and here if any one of the function is just press stop then we can use or function so either if we press stop or either this value goes to uh, minus 1 becomes equals to 0 so either this one becomes equals to 0 then this should stop the loop so that's how it will work so the next thing is um, the text size that it should also tell us how much text we have just written so I can just go on to string and then we have a string length and here I can just create an indicator also I can just create an indicator of uh, how much time that they has spent right now so this x minus y will be our uh, the time that is just spent uh, so this will be our countdown so this is our countdown I can just make its size also visible so let's just say its size is 36 so now it is more visible to us and I can just even make it center aligned style and justify and center aligned so now this is the countdown of time and here is the length of the total text and uh, now I will create another um, I will just make a copy of the text that I will type I can connect that in here and create another indicator named as length 2 so this length 2 is basically again I will just um, remove the part 2 and here it will show the length of how much uh, um, uh, characters that you have just entered so uh, all right so that was more than enough uh, for the purpose that uh, shows changes the color when we will just enter a wrong word we can use a property node uh, so for that purpose let's just go to this create and then property node and there we will find out the text and here we have a text color and there we have a background color so change it to control change it to write basically and then I'll find out a comparison and then a select function. So here I will make an algorithm that will show me that if the text size of the writing length 2 is greater than 1. So if it is greater than 0. As well as. And. The next function is and. If 
the offset past match is also um, greater than zero and if the offset past match is less than zero then only this will come true and it will change the color let's just create a constant in here so if, if I remove this wire I can now select the colors so in this case the color will go red and in this case if it is false the color will be just blue uh, light blue so I will connect it to the false and, and connect it to the true what does it mean that if we have just pressed something in our text uh, form and uh, on the offset pass match is uh, also less than zero then it is false so if it is just gone greater than zero then we have these colors so let's just run the program and test if it works or not so here is our countdown if I run my program that will fetch uh, the numbers in here and the countdown is just too fast so what we are lacking in here is the giving the loop delay so I will create a constant and giving it 1000 milliseconds which means one second of time delay so now if I run my program in here uh, what I will get is I'm still getting this text so what I want is I want to remove this text every time it runs it goes within the loop so I will create a local variable in here create a constant and uh, this constant should have nothing so every time it will run it will just disappear this text um, that is inside of it so now I will just write in here and it is working fine unless we just have to make another thing that how much it is not updating the length so there is a little bit mistake uh, not a mistake uh, lacking of but it is so it, we have to just check this out and uh, update value while typing so it will just continuously updating the value or uh, in the real time that how much text and how much text would that we have into so again I will just run the program this text is disappeared and it is appeared in, in here now it is showing me that I have just uh, typed this much text within this time frame so still if I just change the my program or the words that I am texting uh, putting inside of the text window it is just showing me the red color so if I go begin and uh, make the correct text it is just saying me that I am going alright so that was the basics of the program and I hope you will like my efforts so this is how we can make uh, this exercise we can also add many more functionalities in this program like uh, I had just added um, the control button of enter and uh, then we can also add many more functionalities in it this was just for our exercise purposes hope you will like my videos and uh, like them and share and subscribe them thank you so much for your contribution and uh, thank you